um, you can pause the screen and write that down and, and just have a go at it. I'm going to go through all of this using the TI Inspire skills and it's absolutely 100% sure that you have to be able to do all of this otherwise you're going to make very little progress on this course guys so let's get down to it now okay. So have a little look here, explain why it's arithmetic, well common difference, second subtract first that should equal the third subtract the second and you can clearly see that it's negative 250 okay so d equals two, negative 250 so d equals negative 250 common difference okay and don't just, hey, ju don't just do it the first one you know calculate the second subtract the first the third subtract the second okay write down u of n straight from the formula sheet u of n equals and i can type in here i'm just grabbing the formula and adjusting this u1 plus bracket <coughs> n minus 1 bracket times by d okay so let's let's feed in all of this now I'll copy and paste it again so u of 1 what is u of 1 for this for this particular sequence u of 1 is 2000 plus n minus 1 yes and now replace the d with negative 250 now you, you, you can all multiply this out look this negative 250 multiplies with the n and then the negative 250 multiplies with the negative 1. Okay, so the next line should be pretty simple to do. It's equal to 2000, nothing changes there, plus the n times by negative 250. So that's negative 250n. And now negative 1 times by negative 250 is plus 250. Okay, so that, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now you've got a plus minus here. Okay, which just turns into a minus, so we'll do that now. And then you've got 250 here, positive, and you've got 2000 here. So the final answer here is equals 2250 minus 250n. Okay, that is the way we find the nth term in this sequence. If we want to find the 20th, u20, we just type in 2250 or subtract 250 times by 20. Okay, great. Which is the first term to be negative? Well, you can see it's coming down, isn't it? So at some stage, we're going to have a negative number appearing here. So this is where we switch to our, our graph and table of values. So I'm going to copy this, Command-C. I'm going to go doc, insert. I'm going to insert a graph. I'm just going to type it in here. And I'm just going to edit it because in a graph, we like to have x instead of n as the variable press enter. Now the fact is it doesn't matter what the graph looks like in a sense. We're going to go to control T in the table of values. Now just have a look at that. The first is 2000, the second is 1750, the third is 1500. That, that's what we've got from the original question, right? There it is. Okay. Brilliant. And so we just need to go down here until we see the first negative term. Now look, the ninth term is zero, but we would need the tenth term for the first negative term, the tenth term, okay? So we'll go back to here, and we just say, which is the first term to be negative? We need the n equals 10, okay? And you might write down, actually, also, just what is the value of u10? So we're going to write down u of 10 is actually equal to negative 250, negative 250, okay? Um, if you want to solve this as an equation, what we're actually trying to do is we are trying to solve this thing here, the nth term, um, and we actually are trying to solve an inequality is less than zero. So you could try solve equals zero first and then adjust for the inequality, okay, if you like solving equations. And then the final part is here, write down s of n. So let's write down the formula, and there's two different ways of writing the formula, okay? There is a u1 plus un version, and then there is one, a version without that. So let's look at what we've got. Um, I'm going to write down the two versions, okay? And then we can decide on which is the best version to use. S of n equals... And then I'm writing down uh, n over... I need to get into the fraction. n over 2 and brackets 2 times uh, u1. Let me just grab this, just do a bit of copy and paste. 2 times u1 plus brackets n minus 1 bracket d. 
Okay, there's one version, 2u1 plus n minus 1d. And then there's another version which is similar. So I'll just copy this and paste it again. And I'll just say l over 2, but this one is u1 plus, and I'll just copy that again. U of n. Right, so those, got, those are the two summation formulas for arithmetic. Now let's have a look at what we have got. We have got, we've got u1, which is this. We've got d. If we scroll down here, we've got u1, we've got d. So we could use this formula, that would be all right. But we've also got u1 here and actually can you see we've actually got u of n as well because we calculated it for the question before u of n it's the last term in the sequence that you're going to add basically okay so the last term in the sequence so let us write down i think using the second formula i'll just copy that i'll paste it down here and i'm just going to replace all the things that i know so n i don't know u of 1 I do know, u of 1 is 2000, u of n I do know, u of n is already written down here. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to just paste it in place of the u of n. And there is my rule for finding the sum of n terms. Now you can leave it just like that or you can tidy it up Can you see that these guys add together to give 4, 2, 50. And this is my rule for the sum of n terms. So let's get that into our graphing. And I will just go and edit this. That's a shortcut for editing it. And I can just go ahead and change the x here and the x here. And now I've got the rule for the summation. Okay. Now let's just see if this rule is working. The sum of the first term is 2,000. Well, that makes sense because the first term was, in fact, 2,000. There we go. What's the sum of the first two terms? Can you see that will be 3,750? 2, 3,750. So this column represents the sum of all the terms. And as you go along, you can see the sum increases, then decreases. And look, we need 18 terms until we get a negative sum. Okay. Let's go back to here. We then can see that for our sum formula, we're actually trying to solve, for those that like um, algebra equations, we're actually trying to solve the following inequality. This thing here is less than zero. So you can go ahead and try and solve for equals zero and then make an adjustment. And we said the answer there was n equals, should we just have a look at it again? n equals 18. All right. Now, what if we use the other formula? Because some people are a bit confused about which formula to use. So let's just write down this formula. Let's go down to here. Okay. 2 times by u of 1. Well, u of 1, we said, was... Oh, let's just change that. u of 1, we said, was 2,000. 2,000, and d was negative 250. Now, the cool thing is here, we don't actually need to go and expand and tidy up. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go to my graph, and I'm going to paste it straight in here. If you weren't comfortable with pasting it into this little section here, then you can go back to the graph here, and you can go back to the graph entry, and you can just go up back to F1 and you can delete the F1 and you can just paste it in here but it's the same end result right it's just the same end result because you're pasting it into one and it will be automatically transferred to the other but what you do have to do is see where the ends are and change them to X's so maybe I'm going to do control T to turn off the table of values and I'm going to go back up here and adjust this guy here um, let's just see is that the right one Okay, so we need this guy here copied. I'll go up to here. And I'm going to go back up to F1, and I'm going to delete the old F1 and paste in this guy. And don't forget, adjust to make it X, because the graph likes to have X as the input. And again, the graph doesn't matter so much. We go to Control, 
T. Oh, and look, we got the same end results. Even though the format of that formula is very different, the first is 2,000, the sum of the first two is 3,750, the sum of the first three. And if we go down, we should get the same answer. It takes us to 18 terms to get to a negative sum. All right, I hope that helps. You need to be super skilled with your GDC. Let me go right back to the beginning. And so that was the sequence that we started with. Um, once you've watched this video, go right back to the start. Pause after a few seconds when you see all the questions on the screen. And then you've got to try the whole question again uh, by yourself. And then press play again to see if you've got the right answers.